Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Survival Russia. Today we're gonna do another day in the life because we're trapped here, we are trapped in the snow of course, but we are having some weather coming from Africa, I've been uh, informed, because today is gonna be plus 17 in the shade. <laughs> that is pretty crazy for 2nd of April. Snow is melting super fast. I'm of course working on the houses you can see. This is a very boring process because it is just mounting boards, mounting boards, mounting boards. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna do go to the big settlement today as well because I have to drive my son there, and uh, so we're gonna take a look at that and uh, we're gonna see what else we can find out today here. As you can see, the bus is out there on the snow because out on the snow there's no mud. But I'll get on with it. I'm cutting some boards. Mounting boards, and that's basically it for now. So now we are driving with my oldest son to the big settlement because he has to go to art school. And you might wonder, why is my son going to art school? It's not really my, um, say, my theme, but uh, Mrs. Savar Russia, she's really, really good at at uh, drawing, painting. Uh, her dad is an architect, so he's also good at it. Her two brothers are architects, so they're also good at it. My grandfather was a design engineer back in the day, in the Danish Navy. Then he was at the Navy base for 48 years. And uh, that was at the time when they were drawing everything in hand. And I, was, I still remember all his sketches and drawings of ship cannons and all sorts of good stuff. So, uh, he would, he's just gonna learn how to paint, how to draw, and uh, he wanted to try it, and uh, even it's not really my theme, I think that uh, he should be allowed to try it, of course. So let's go to the big settlement, I'm gonna wait for him there, so we're gonna get around a little bit, maybe take a look at the shops again, and uh, this and that, so uh, see you guys. So that's where the local art school is located, uh, old building from the SARS times so we got like one and a half hour to see what's going on here this is a school bus let's just make a make a random drive the awesome thing about this place here is that there's a uh, there's no discos, there are no bars, nothing of that kind. Here we have the local town hall from the Soviet Union era. Not very pretty. This is for... you can sign up in the army if you want to. We don't have mobilization here in Russia. Many think we have mobilization, but we don't. That's like. 30,000 or something signing up each month, so it's not needed. Here we have the veterans of the Achestvenaya Vaina of the Second World War. And the flag. And me, hello. So that flag is of course a copy of the flag which they uh, put on the Reichstag in Berlin. And that's the Russian Federation flag. I think many think Russia still is communist because they use this flag there. Let's check out the supermarket. We need to buy some stuff anyway. The buckwheat. We need some buckwheat. And it's only 34 rubles now. That is awesome. Because uh, that's a normal price. When the war started, it was, I think, almost like three times as expensive as it is now. People always say that the goods are stacked out here and there's nothing in behind. But there actually is. <laughs> this is not the Soviet Union, guys. See, coffee. Maybe we should get some coffee now we're here.
just a lazy afternoon in small town Russia. Pick up time soon. But Russia has its ups and downs as uh, many countries, of course, or all countries have its pluses and minuses. I think here, for me anyway, the pluses outweighs the minuses. I mean, the overall feeling of, you know, there's not many authorities and so on sticking your nose, their noses in uh, your daily life and stuff like that, <laughs> that, I, that I like pretty much. According, uh, not according to, but uh, contrary to uh, what many believe. One thing I certainly appreciate with Russia, and especially here out on the countryside, is that uh, I can drop my son off at his uh, art school over there, and with a high amount of certainty, <laughs> I know there's nothing bad going to happen to him. And that's of course a big plus. So we're back, guys. So let's get some boards up. It's five o'clock. It's 18 degrees. It's super crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And there's nothing I would rather want to do now than go back in the house, pack up my backpacks and the backpacks, and go to the forest for the next two days, where it's gonna be like plus eight during the night and plus 16 during the day. But I have to get this done. So we might have to do that uh, when it gets a little bit colder and we get some night frost. But you guys also like to see me suffering in the in the frost even there's not gonna be any uh, frost is gonna make me suffer that much after this winter here this winter was crazy i know i'm blah blah blind a little bit but uh day in the life you know but i would like to thank toby toby was over supporting the channel over at boosty and toby also sent me a message but i cannot reply to you because uh, sometimes uh, it's not possible or what boosted to reply. But while I'm working, guys, you are more than welcome to uh, drop in over at the uh, Boosty and buy me a beer or buy me a coffee or whatever and support the vehicle projects and uh, the channel in general. I would highly appreciate that. This is, of course, not expected, never ever, but uh, appreciate it. If you don't know what Boosty is, it's just an ordinary donation site where, which is not uh, anti-Russian and uh, uses uh, secure international payment uh, methods, so uh, there's no problem with that. But anyway, we need to get some uh, boards up here. Oh. <laughs> but I think that's it for today guys because uh, I'll continue with this well into after dark oh, people. the boss <laughs> nothing much more to say for now just short little day in the life uh, just hanging out with some of you guys who like this stuff anyway and guys until next time get out and train Get it done, do something awesome, and uh, see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for your time. All right, guys, I can see they're fixing the greenhouse over there. My father-in-law, the pink ninja, and Mrs. Russia. Let's try and zoom in a little bit. Pink ninja is a good helper.